if you click the home view, which is the little home right here, it will home you right here so you can see the top and the front right from a, kind of an aerial view dead on. So that's home. Now here is fit all in view. So if I had some shapes, then it would, it would zoom in or zoom out automatically so I could fit all of those shapes. That will come in handy. Let me put a shape here. Let me accidentally put a shape way out in space where I can't see it. Okay, let's pretend it's way out here somewhere. Uh, I could actually zoom out. Let's get that thing way out of here. Now, I don't know that shape's there, but it will be part of my work when I export the file. I can't have that. I don't want two crazy shapes. So when you're done, if, if you fit to view, It'll actually show you things that are out there. I just click that fit to view. I know I don't want that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that shape. Now let's go to fit to view again. And it takes me back to what I need. All right. So that is fit all in view. I don't use that too much. This is zoom in and zoom out. If you click it, it zooms in, it zooms out. I prefer to use the scroll wheel um, on your mouse. If you scroll forward, you zoom in. If you scroll backward, you zoom out. I prefer that method, but you also have this method here. Now, switch to orthographic view takes you to a whole different view. Some people prefer this view. I do not like this view, so I keep it on perspective. I prefer to have a perspective view on things. That's just my personal opinion, and I think that's the opinion of most people, too. So that is the left control bar. Really pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna home this in again. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, scroll my mouse wheel in so you can see this shape. Now, if you noticed that rotated and I wasn't actually touching the box, it's a habit of mine and it will, it will come natural to you too. Uh, right click mouse button. When you right click the mouse button anywhere on your project, it will rotate everything, whichever way you slide your mouse. And right now I'm right clicking, so you can see the little circles. I made right click red, so whenever you see those red circles, that means I right clicked. So right click is red. All right, now I already brought a shape in here, and I'm going to click on it one time with a regular click. I'll say click for left click and right click for right click. Let me get rid of that shape. I'm going to go back over here. Let's say I want a cylinder. I'm going to click cylinder one time. Then I'm going to move my mouse over here and I'll put the cylinder where I want it and click again. Now I have the shape that I want. If I click on it, I can move it around. I can move that shape any which way I want. I'll get into all these handles and things later. If I click off of the shape, let's say I bring in another shape. I'm going to scroll down here and find, okay, I want a pyramid. I'll bring that in, clicking the pyramid, then click on the work plane, and there we go. Now I've got two shapes. I can select them between the two. That's just about it. You can bring shapes in, and there are lots of basic shapes for you to work with. I will get into more detail after you've practiced this for quite a bit. So what I want you to do is take your time, pull some shapes in, play with them, Change your perspective a lot. It's very important to change your perspective. If you don't, you'll make things that look right from a two-dimensional angle, but really poorly from a three-dimensional angle. So please take your time. Move your work plane around like this with a right click. Practice using the left control bar over here. And practice bringing in some basic shapes and playing with them a little.